Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. This is going to be kind of a quick video, but I figured it was important enough to make a video about. Today, the Raspberry Pi Foundation has announced a couple of really cool things. First up, we have the new Raspberry Pi 4 8GB model. Unfortunately, not much else has changed here in the GPU and CPU department, but we now have an 8GB version for $75, which is something I'm definitely going to be getting my hands on, and I'm pretty sure that these are going to be available in most places like Micro Center, Canakit, and even Chicago Electronics. So now there's four versions of the Raspberry Pi 4. You can pick up the 1GB model, 2GB model, 4GB model, and the 8 and they actually slipped up in their user guide when the Raspberry Pi 4 was first announced. If we take a look here, 2 gigabyte, 4, and 8 gigabyte variants. Some people thought this was a misprint. Other people thought that the 8 gigabyte version was coming. And of course, it was. They did have it planned, but they just didn't have the RAM modules available at the time. But now they're available, an 8 gig LP DDR4 package right here on your Raspberry Pi 4. Now this is awesome news. This really isn't gonna help out in the emulation department, but for other applications like building a little server or a home NAS, this is gonna be an awesome little feature for the Raspberry Pi 4. They've doubled the RAM of the top tier Raspberry Pi 4 and brought it all the way up to eight gigs. Now while this in itself is awesome news, there is some more here, and we'll get over to the main changes of the board in a second, but they did address the 64-bit operating system of Raspbian. Raspbian has been totally renamed to Raspberry Pi OS, and there is a beta for the 64-bit version right here. I'll leave a link in the description. I will be testing this out as soon as I get my hands on one of the 8GB models. There is still no hardware video acceleration in VLC or Chromium. This is something that definitely needs to be addressed, and this board has been out for a while. We really need video acceleration here. They even mention in this article that they're still working on the Vulkan driver for the Raspberry Pi 4, and 64-bit operating systems have been available in the past. There's been some hacked up versions of Raspbian, but you can also install the 64-bit version of Ubuntu, and I have a few videos on that. I'll probably leave a link in the description, or you can just do a quick Google search. Now, as for the other changes on the board, the switcher has been moved, and we'll take a look at that now. So on the left hand side we have the original Pi 4, 1, 2, and 4 gigabyte model. Over on the right hand side we have the new 8 gigabyte model. Basically all that's been swapped around or added to this board is the new LP DDR4 8 gigabyte module. That's replaced the 1, 2, and 4 gigabyte module. And they've also removed the switch mode power supply which used to be up by the USB 2.0 ports on the original Pi 4, the 1, 2, and 4 gigabyte model. And they've moved it right next to the USB Type-C power connector. So theoretically all cases and heat sinks for the original Raspberry Pi 4, 1, 2, and 4 gigabyte model will fit on the Raspberry Pi 8 gigabyte model. So if you already own something even you Reason, you really don't have to worry about that. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I really appreciate you watching. I just wanted to give you this quick heads up here. It is available right now from a lot of different retailers for $75. So we now have a new Raspberry Pi 4 with 8 gigs of RAM built in. And I mean, saying it out loud is pretty crazy. I thought 4 gigs was a lot for the Raspberry Pi 4. I've been messing around with the Raspberry Pi since the original one came out, and that one only had 256 megabytes of RAM. If you want to learn more about this new model, I'm going to leave some links in the description, and don't forget to check out the new Raspberry Pi OS 64-bit version if you're rocking this new 8 gigabyte model. But that's it for this one. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I'll have one in my possession soon for a full review. And like always, thanks for watching.